Song Hai Kyo Fails, Lee Byung Hun wins big at Dijong 2023. On the evening of the 15th of November, the 59th Grand Bell Awards, also known as Dijong, took place at the Kyungji Arts Center in Suwon, South Korea. This event is likened to the Oscar of Korea, with a long tradition and high credibility, comparable to the Blue Dragon and Big Sang Awards. This year's season marked the dominance of the film Concrete Utopia, which swept nearly all the major nominations. Lee Byung Hun ascends to Best Actor, Concrete Utopia wins big. In the Best Film category, Concrete Utopia, starring Lee Byung Hun, Park Se Oh Joon, and Park Bo Young, was named. Not only successful commercially with a box office of 28.9 million US dollars, the film also brought back many meaningful messages about life and human relationships. The victory of Concrete Utopia was not surprising, as in addition to an impressive script, the project also gathered acting guarantees. The Best Actor award in the film category went to Lee Byung Hun, marking a huge number of Best Actor trophies in the actor's career. In addition, the film also won a series of Gold Awards in categories such as Best Supporting Actress, Art Direction, Visual Effects, and Outstanding Sound. Veteran actress Kim Se Oh Young won Best Actress with a stellar performance in Greenhouse. Meanwhile, Dimpled Beauty Kim Sin Ho won Best New Actor with The Nobleman. Speaking on stage upon receiving the award, Kim Sin Ho, with tears in his eyes, said he did not dare to think that he would receive this prestigious award. This is the film debut of the actor from hometown Cha Cha Cha. Song Hai Kyo, The Glory, Mask Girl Goes Home Empty Handed. Besides the awards in the film category, Dijong also honored TV series broadcasted over the past year. Moving, starring Han Hyo Ju and Jo In Sung, surprisingly overtook The Glory, Mask Girl, and Casino, winning Best Film. This result sparked heated debates among netizens as the glory was no less excellent compared to moving. Once again, viewers couldn't believe that Han Hyo Ju won Best Actress over Song Hai Kyo from The Glory. The duo from Big Bet, Kang Yoon Sung and Choi Min Sik, respectively won Best Director and Best Actor. It can be seen that the awards for the television category at this Dijong were evenly distributed between Big Bet and Moving, while The Glory and Mask Girl left empty-handed, causing netizens to criticize the organizing committee. Congratulations to all the winners of the Dijong Film Awards. Your outstanding contributions to the world of cinema have not only earned you well-deserved recognition but have also enriched the tapestry of Korean filmmaking. Your talent, dedication, and creativity inspire us all, and we look forward to witnessing your future endeavors in the world of cinema. May your passion continue to shine brightly, and may you keep captivating audiences with your remarkable storytelling and performances. Once again, congratulations on this remarkable achievement. 59th Golden Bell Awards Results 2023 Film Category Best Film, Concrete Utopia Best Director, Ryu Soon Won, Smugglers Best Actress, Kim Se Oh Young, Greenhouse Best Actor, Lee Byung Hun, Concrete Utopia Best Supporting Actress, Kim Sin Young, Concrete Utopia Best Supporting Actor, Oh Jung Se, Cobweb. Best New Actress, Kim Si Yoon, Next So He. Best New Actor, Kim Sin Ho, The Chilled. Best New Director, and Tai Jin, The Night Owl. Best Screenplay, Haim Ki Ri, and Tai Jin, The Night Owl. Best Music, Dal Perun, Phantom. Best Art Direction, Jo Hua Sung, Concrete Utopia. Best Cinematography, Cho Young Huan, Smugglers. Best Visual Effects, Yoon Jae Hyun, Concrete Utopia. Best Sound, Kim Seok Won, Concrete Utopia. Best Costume Design, Yoon Jung Hee, Killing Romance. Best Editing, Kim Sin Min, The Night Owl. Best Documentary, Soup and Ideology. Series. Best Film, Moving, Disney Plus. Best Director, Kang Yoon Sung, Big Bet. Best Actor, Choi Min Sik, Big Bet. Best Actress, Han Hyo Ju, Moving. The Grandeur of the Dijong Film Awards, South Korea's Cinematic Celebration. The Dijong Film Awards, also renowned as the Grand Bell Awards, stand as a pinnacle of honor in the South Korean film industry. Established in 1962, 
These awards have evolved into South Korea's equivalent of the Oscars, celebrating cinematic excellence with grandeur and prestige. With their rich history and revered status, the Dijong Awards are not just a ceremony but a cultural phenomenon that reflects the dynamic and evolving landscape of Korean cinema. Historical Significance and Cultural Impact The Dijong Film Awards inception dates back to the early 1960s, a period when South Korean cinema was burgeoning. They were introduced to encourage filmmakers and actors, fostering a competitive spirit that would elevate the quality of Korean films. Over the years, these awards have become a barometer for success and recognition in the industry, often influencing the careers of filmmakers, actors, and technical personnel. Award Categories and Selection Process Covering a broad spectrum of categories, the Dijong Awards commend achievements in acting, directing, screenwriting, cinematography, and more. These categories highlight the multifaceted talent within the industry, acknowledging both the artistic and technical aspects of filmmaking. The selection process involves a panel of esteemed judges, ensuring that the winners represent the highest standards of cinematic excellence. Impact on Korean Cinema and International Recognition Winners of the Dijong Film Awards often gain significant attention both nationally and internationally. The awards have played a crucial role in bringing Korean cinema to the global stage, with recipients frequently participating in international film festivals and markets. This international recognition has been instrumental in the global rise of Korean cinema, known as the Korean Wave or Hallyu, which has seen Korean films and filmmakers receiving accolades worldwide. Notable Moments on Trends Over the years, the Dijong Film Awards have witnessed numerous memorable moments on trends. For instance, the domination of a particular film or a breakthrough performance by a new actor can set the tone for the industry in the following year. The awards also reflect current societal issues and trends, often seen through the themes and narratives of the winning films. Challenges and Criticisms Despite its prestige, the Dijong Awards have faced challenges and criticisms, such as allegations of bias and lack of transparency in the selection process. These concerns have led to calls for reforms to maintain the integrity and relevance of the awards. Looking to the future. As South Korean cinema continues to evolve, the Dijong Film Awards remain a significant milestone for filmmakers and actors. They not only celebrate the past year's achievements but also inspire future generations to push the boundaries of storytelling and artistic expression. In conclusion, the Dijong Film Awards symbolize the zenith of cinematic achievement in South Korea. They are not just a ceremony but a celebration of the creativity, passion, and resilience that define Korean cinema. As the industry grows, these awards will undoubtedly continue to play a pivotal role in shaping its trajectory and legacy.